Wasabi Beats. Welcome to the virtual school leaving ceremony for the academic year 2019-2020. Let's put our hands together as we introduce to you the members of the class of 2020.
join with us as we sing the school song and repeat Psalm 100, after which prayer will be offered on our behalf by Mrs. K. Patience, our PTA president. Almighty God, I'm asking you to guide them, protect them, keep them along the way. Wherever they are placed, Almighty God, let them go there and do their best. And remember, only the best is good enough. Remember the parents also. Remember the teachers, dear God. Guide, keep, comfort them, Almighty God. Help them as they grow along each day. Cover them, Almighty God, under your blood blood, strengthen them, help them to understand and realize that they are moving forward, dear God. Guide and protect them, keep and comfort, in your name I pray, amen. 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 I now invite Khadija Pottinger to give the welcome. Principal Mrs. Bartow, other specially invited guests in the audience, teachers, parents, well-wishers, Fellow school leavers, students, a pleasant good afternoon. I am honored to stand before you this afternoon to welcome you to our virtual school leaving ceremony for 2020. It was Nelson Mandela who says, education 
is the, is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Indeed, the world has changed. How we are being educa educated has changed too. And now, how we are celebrating the victory of our, of our educational achievement has changed too. All these changes are due to the COVID-19 pandemic that we are faced with. We are elated that you, our supportive family and friends, are viewing online to share this wonderful and unforgettable experience. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not come yet. So let's enjoy today. It is, it is our hope that this event will be a fulfilling and satisfying one. Please let down your hair and enjoy yourself as you share with us. Once again, I say welcome. Thank you and have an unforgettable afternoon. Chairman of the board, Specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, graduates, pleasant afternoon to you all. Before I begin, let me just take a few seconds to say congratulations to you, the students who successfully completed another milestone in your lives. Today, I am here to introduce a special person to you. She has been working at this institution for the past 12 years. She has seen many of your relatives leaving as successful as you all are leaving today. She is a non-nonsense person who believes in nothing but the best. She is ready to go above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that this institution is a successful one. She is nothing but authentic in her doings when it comes to her staff and students. She stands by her motto, a sound mind in a sound body, thus, the, thus allowing her to push through any obstacles that should stand in her way. As stated by John Quincy Adams, a leader's actions should inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. As you reflect on these great qualities of a leader, please help me welcome your leader and principal of this institution, Mrs. Barrett Rose. The academic year 2019-2020 caught us in the middle of a river trying to cross over safely on the school reopening side. The river carried with it the old termite infested roof and some old furniture. We struggled with the replacement of the roof and the furniture well into late October. We were tossed about in the river as well in terms of the academic staff. Mrs. Tika Gay Borrell and Miss Katie Sinclair had not resumed their duties as classroom teachers. We had Mrs. N. Small, who had resigned her position. We were able to replace two of the three teachers. Miss Sinclair, who was scheduled to go off on study leave, deferred this leave and rejoined the staff at the end of September. We had two new members for the academic staff, Mrs. Yanil Blissett and Mrs. Tony and Williams and one new member for the support staff, Miss Britannia Gordon. Miss Gordon and Miss Williams are both past students of this school. While we started school on September 3rd, work continued on the repairs until after the midterm break. This affected the readiness of our learning environment. As the teachers were unable to create the stimulating learning environment that would enhance teaching and learning process. Despite the challenges, we were fully engaged in the teaching learning process 
as well as our extracurricular activities. For the first time, we had a mother-daughter day and a father-son day, which were successful, even though the support could have been better. We were just barely out of the waters when we started second term. Again, we had staff difficulties. Mrs. Fairweather went off on her earned vacation leave and her position was replaced by Miss Sanika Campbell. Miss Sinclair went off on her study leave, but we were not given a replacement for her. Despite the many challenges we were experiencing, we had gotten to the point of settling down and had written the PEP ability test. Preparations were in high gear to host our annual athletic activities as well as the sitting of the PEP performance task and the curriculum-based test. For most students, second term is the best time of the school year as there are many activities that they would be involved in. Fate interrupted these activities as we were tossed right back into the waters by the COVID-19 pandemic and had to switch from manual steering of the boat to the use of electrical driven power. We had to adapt to a new way of schooling and today we have to recognize that some students have yet to adapt to this new way. We were thrust by a big wave into the full 21st century behavior. The global village got smaller as we got smarter in navigating our way around the high tides. In the middle of the pandemic, another cycle of the school board came to an end. I pause here to acknowledge the voluntary service of the school board that was led by Mr. Desmond Batchelor, Vice Chairperson, Superintendent Hillary Williams, Community Rep, Mr. Felix Brown, PTA Rep, Mr. Lloyd Barnett, and Staff Rep, Ms. Jennifer Landell. You will agree with me that the school has moved and has fulfilled its mandate of offering to the student the best education possible. This we know because there is much satisfaction in students' achievement and to date, the school is rated as satisfactorily performing its role by the National Education Inspectorate. We owe a debt of gratitude to the outgoing school board members and lift our hats off to them. We know you love us dearly and will continue to serve in whatever way possible. We will not say goodbye. We will just say to you, rest a while. I use this medium as well to introduce the new school board members officially. Occupying the chair, occupying the chair person's position is Ms. Debbie Carr Scott, Vice Chairperson, Ms. Superintendent Hillary Williams, Community Member, Mr. Felix Brown, PTA Rep, Ms. Keisha Patience, and Staff Rep, Ms. Tasian Tucker. We applaud and welcome you with open arms as you serve in this capacity. We hope the next three years will be beneficial as well as fulfilling as we partner together. Here we are today, sending off another batch of students to the next level of their education. We celebrate your educational achievements in the new norm of things by having this virtual ceremony. I offer the biggest and heartiest congratulations on your success. I know you are feeling proud of yourselves and wherever you are now, give yourselves a big hug and do the victory dance.
I know you want to help me to say thank you to the teachers of Loibes Vale Primary School. You could not have made it this far without their guidance. Neither could you without your parents caring for you, as well as the support staff of the school. They all acted and worked on your behalf, ensuring that you got the best at all times. In my capacity as principal, I want to say thank you to the academic staff and to the support staff. I could not have accomplished the task without your continued support. Once again, you have outdone yourselves. To the business community that assisted us, a big thank you. Your donation in cash, kind or time made a difference to us. We crave your so continued support. We are all sailing through stormy weather, but let us continue to be diligent in well-doing. To the school leavers, be proud of who you are. Stay focused, dream big, know your value and your worth. Do not allow others to influence you. Do not think you have reached the end because this is only the beginning. Always be thankful. Always be respectful. Always be obedient. Always remember, only your best is good enough. To the rest of us I say, stay COVID free and embrace the new way of life. Thank you for listening and do enjoy the rest of the school leaving ceremony. All protocols observed. It gives me great pleasure and honor to introduce the board chairman, Mr. Desmond Bachelor. Mr. Bachelor was born in the district of Peninta. He attended the Wanda Bolas and Lloydersville primary schools. He further completed his studies at the Walgrove College, then to the University of the West Indies, where he attained a Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Mr. Bachelor tutored and lectured at the University of the West Indies for 10 years. Currently, he is the president of the Kiwanis Club of Kingston and served as the chairman of the Lloydersville Primary from April 2017 to March 2020. Mr. Bachelor is very passionate about student success, and as a result, he is the founder of the Therapy Kids program, which is aimed at developing the well-being of students at the school. The program has benefited the students tremendously. Ladies and gentlemen and graduates, I present to you Mr. Desmond Bachelor. Well, teachers, Distinguished guests, graduates, parents, the ancillary staff, security personnel, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings. It was indeed my pleasure to have served you and your school as chairman of the board over the past three years. You're in this short period I met some wonderful parents, students, teachers, and other staff members who showed a lot of interest in the development of our children. For this, I'm truly proud and grateful to you all. Graduates, as you prepare to leave Lloydersville Primary School, always remember your school's motto. And this is a sound mind in a sound body. Continue to make the best decisions at school, at home, and in your lives in general to maintain a sound mind and a sound body. Remember your teachers and parents and continue to show respect to them as they have played a very important part in your lives, in your achievements, in your developments. In high school, 
you will meet other students of different background and socialization. But always remember to keep a sound mind. Remember the values taught to you by your teachers and parents and make the right decisions. If you find that your new school friends are behaving contrary to the good values and attitudes that you were taught, find new friends if they are not willing to change to your positive values. Continue to be respectful to your fellow students, your family, your teachers, and all persons with whom you come into contact. As you leave your schoolmates at Lloydersvale Primary, and I exit as chairman of the school board, I wish you God's richest blessings. May you continue to keep him steadfast in your lives and be the example for others to emulate, to copy. Keep your school's flag high in your hearts and in your minds. I thank you for listening to me, and I wish you all the best in life. Take care, my friends. Until such time, bye-bye. Any school leaving ceremony 
is a valedictorian message. And this afternoon, the pleasure is mine to introduce to you the valedictorian for the class of 2020, none other than Darja Barnett. Put your hands together as we welcome her. Parents, friends, schoolmates, my dear fellow school leavers, staff, and school administrators, a pleasant afternoon. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we have moved into the fourth industrial revolution by having a first time of visual graduation. It is also memorable because we have not allowed the COVID-19 pandemic to stop our educational development. It is memorable because we have just ended an episode in life. Today, we will be given our rite of passage to high school. While COVID caused our school to change the mood of our preparation, it did not stop us from being empowered to become productive students. I can simply and truthfully say that we were unable to face the technology challenges and are better prepared to operate in 21st century and beyond. My fellow school leavers, we have successfully mastered the first step with patience and dedication for the last six years. Let us determine in our hearts to succeed in the next six years. Let us keep our focus remembering that we have a sound mind in a sound body. During the six years journey at this school, we made friends, we made enemies too. We fought, we played, we debated, we shared dreadful moments and endured sad moments too. We were sometimes disobedient and unforgiving, but we also shared and cared for each other. All of these aspects of our development helped to shape who we are today and helped to make our educational journey a true accomplishment. Of course, we could not have been able to reach this stage without the people who helped us and who, without expecting anything in return, guided us into our quest for knowledge. To these people, we have a lot of gratitude. No amount of words can fully express how much we appreciate what they have done for us. The Board of Governors and the principal of this institution who ensure that the school remain open despite the many challenges. We thank you for, for effectively managing the learning, learning environment. Our lives were shaped, in, were shaped in this environment. So our teachers who taught us not only the lessons in books, but, all, but also taught us lessons in real life. To the support staff, you are just as important to us like our teachers and our parents as you give service to you us. To our parents who are, also, who are always beside us since our first day at Icon School, we shared our first days of victory. There will, be more, there will be many more years of struggle, but we are confident that we will triumph because we have parents like you. My fellow school leavers, let us aim high and keep our good will. Let us do all we can to make our dreams come true. I thank you for a good friendship and camaraderie. Let us remember, as Mrs. Barrett Wolf, our principal, always say to us, only our best is good enough. Thank you. Very witty in his expressions, knows just to, how to title the debate on anyone's behavior. A Johnny Saunders, affectionately called a Johnny, whose ambition is to become a doctor. He loves to draw, but his life is centered around anything trucks. Anthony Wright, whose ambition is to become a soldier. Jamaica's next track star, a very neat student in both demeanor and work, Crisardo Ashley, otherwise called Sado, his future ambition to become a soldier. Enthusiastic and hardworking, very committed to completing any and every task given, very positive work attitude, 
makes many mistakes but never afraid to make corrections very respectful crystal brown affectionately called chrissy who hopes to become a business manager the quiet footballer do not take him lightly though his personality changes in a second if provoked this is daniel karam affectionately called pete whose ambition is to become a soldier Clever and funny with an unassuming personality. Excellent at writing, organizing, and leadership. Always produces neat and organized work. Excels in drama. Daughter Barnett, affectionately called Jada, whose ambition is to become a surgeon. The thrift of the group. This one loves money and he saves it. He has a lot to say in a deep way. Dante Escoffrey, otherwise called Tibbs, whose ambition is to become a soldier. He has the temperament of a lion when provoked. Otherwise, a quiet student who is quite protective of his only sister. Israel Newton, called Izzy sometimes, and his ambition is to become a pilot. Quiet, neat, and intelligent. Cries easily. Joshon White, affectionately called Josh, whose ambition is to become a doctor. Quiet, but don't be fool. He's no pushover. He will pull things apart to find out how they work, then put them back together. Well, sometimes. Jevado Scott, affectionately called Jev. Still unsure about his career, but I know his mind will be made up soon. Quiet and unassuming, will, will participate only if he's sure he is correct. Always neat and properly attired. Jevon Roden, affectionately called Jevy, whose ambition is to become a soldier. This person has a very excellent diction. He can write, choreograph, and is a sensational singer, but does not like to share his talent. He can dance too. Joel Stone, affectionately called Noel, who wants to become a military pilot or doctor. Obedient and respectful very honest in his beliefs the mathematician of the group a great team player jorvik patience affectionately called cardo whose ambition is to become a soldier liquor but tallower an all-rounder very outspoken not afraid to say what's on her mind the tension reliever of the class the person to assume leadership and make sure the activity gets done, especially if it has anything to do with the performing arts. Responsible and organized, but easy to cry. Khadija Fatinja has no alias and her profession is to become a physiotherapist. Smart and pleasant, does well in the academics and performing arts, always willing to work hard at any given task. Kelsey Edwards, affectionately called Chelsea, whose ambition is to become a teacher. Smart yet selfish, a brilliant critical thinker who has done well academically. Not a great team player, Shows no interest in extracurricular activity. This is Kimani Wright, affectionately called Antoine, and his desire is to become a soldier or a doctor. Well mannered and intelligent, will read anything when si relating to science and current affairs, but selfish with his knowledge. Lashon Wright. Affectionately called Leo, whose future ambition is to be a scientist. Quietly sneaking with an athletic prowess, 
Leon Rose, affectionately called Delhi, whose ambition is to become a fireman. Always punctual, always present, quite talkative, and has the potential to be quite athletic too. This is Marlon Loden, otherwise called Marley, whose ambition is to become a pilot. The class secretary, reliable, responsible, and diligent. She works hard to complete tasks. A fast writer who made many mistakes but not afraid to make corrections. Very involved in school activities. Naftalia Young, affectionately called Zedia, whose ambition is to become a teacher. Strong-willed personality with the potential to become a good leader. Neo Fullwood, also called Rick. A quiet student with a burst of interest, especially in mathematics. Nicholas Humphrey, affectionately called Teddy. His ambition is to become a soldier. Has a way with his words. Very mannerable. Likes to eat a lot. This is Omari Campbell, affectionately called Worry. Cool and composed, except when it comes to mathematics. Always focused and dedicated to his work. Excelled in the performing arts. Omario Maitland, affectionately called Maru, the future actor or entrepreneur. Articulate and vibrant, an all rounder who excels in sports and the performing arts. The vibes master of the class, Rajon Paul, otherwise called Paul, whose ambition is to become a soldier. Quiet but sneaky, loves mathematics and football, Rajon Smith. Quiet and obedient, the perfect representation of a line of Miss Rue's poem. Now treat him of your teacher as your touchy man in nice. Take time with him, your teacher. Rihanna Mills, affectionately called Samaya, whose ambition is to become an artist. Sassy but sweet, the kind student in the group, much to her disadvantage sometimes. Shares everything from lunch to work implements. Do not take her kindness for weakness though. She will give you her tongue in words and a fist if needs be. Cheyenne Steen, affectionately called Summer, whose ambition is to become a soldier. Kind, helpful and reliable. Never refuses to complete a task, well, no matter how long it took. Very respectful and obedient. Can sing, but doesn't like to do it. This is Trevon Barrett, regularly called Saski, whose ambition is to become a marine soldier. Never a dull moment when she's asked to perform. She's kind and comical. The actress and joker, very considerate too. Ashley Douglas, affectionately called Mosquito. She hopes to become a teacher. A very neat student who tries to do her work. Always threatening somebody to tell them something. Yendian Gray, affectionately called Ye Ye, whose ambition is to become a soldier. This student used the Bible to improve his reading skills. Will deliver a good sermon or prayer the class needs. Affectionately called pastor, vice classmates, papa at home. His ambition is to become a pastor. Yeah, you're sitting there wondering where time went It feels like you just started this journey and now you're here Taking steps forward Oh, and ready to change the world 
years you would have achieved the best that represents you this afternoon some of you will be awarded for your outstanding achievements I want to say congratulations to all 33 of you I hope you continue to perform at your best because only your best is good enough we will now have the announcement of the top performers.
special invited guest in the audience, teachers, parents, well-wishers, fellow school leaders, students, a pleasant afternoon. On behalf of the school board, principal, staff, my, and my fellow school leaders, I would like to express my gratefulness I would like to express my gratefulness to all of you for making an excellent effort in viewing our school evening ceremony. It was great to see so many well-wishers online today. A big thank you to the principal and staff for organizing this virtual ceremony, especially to the principal and the office team. To our chairman, Desmond Bachelor, for his willingness to attend this virtual ceremony. Your speech under the theme, Forward into the Fourth Revolution, into the Fourth Industrial Revolution. It was well received. Thank you, sir. Our parents and teachers, we could not have made this far without your incredible contributions. Our teachers, we lift our hats off to you for a well done job. As we say, thank you. To support, to the support of the staff of the school, your services are appreciated. For all of you who are viewing this ceremony, we thank you for your support. Together, we, together you all made this occasion a memorable one.
world's greatest. World's greatest. I am a mountain. I am a tall tree. Oh, I am a swift wind sweeping the country. I am a river down in the valley. Oh, I am a vision. And I can see clearly If anybody acts you who I am Just stand up tall Look them in the face and say I'm that star up in the sky I'm that mountain peak up high Hey, I made it mm, I'm the world's greatest And I'm that little bit of hope When my back's against the ropes I can feel it World's greatest. The world's greatest show. The world's greatest ever. I am a giant. I am an eagle. Oh, I am a lion down in the jungle. I am a marching band. I am the people. Oh, I am a helping hand. I am a hero If anybody asks you who I am Just stand up tall Look them in the face and say I'm that star up in the sky I'm that mountain peak up high Hey, I made it mm, I'm the world's greatest mm, And I'm that little bit of hope When my back's up against the ropes I can feel it I'm the world's greatest In the ring of life I'll reign love I will reign And the world will notice I keep Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The world is dark It's a shining light And there's a success within me Me When I stop in the sky I'm not yeah. to be cold I made it. I'm the world's greatest. Oh, I'm that little bit. I'm that little bit. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. I can. I can feel it. Feel it. I'm the world's greatest. Whoa. I'm that star in the star sky. Up in the sky. I'm that star Oh, yes, I am. I've made it. I've made it. I'm the world's greatest. And I'm that little bit of a yeah. Oh, oh, oh. When my back's against the wall. I'm the world's greatest And I saw the light And I'm that star up in the sky I'm that mountain be I'm the power to go At the end of the rainbow I'm the world's greatest And the rainbow's right there I'm that little bit of yeah. a fool Yeah, yeah. But that's it against the rules I go Now I can just walk I'm the world's greatest And it's the greatest Who's the greatest?